Cliff, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. Thrilled to be here, Amy. Okay. All right, now, you're here to talk about your new book, The Glass Tenagerie. Oh, I assumed that this was a cooking segment. I'm starving. I only had a cookie for breakfast. Oh, well, I can hard boil you an egg. Let's just focus on the book. Okay. So, um, Cliff, what makes you an expert on teenagers? Well, I have a PhD in psychology, oh. and I specialized in adolescent behavior. I'm also a tenor. You wouldn't suspect that because I speak low. <laughs> and how exactly did you do research for this book? I followed a group of five teenagers for a number of weeks, and the data that I gathered over that period I used to form this book. And what exactly did you learn? Teenagers didn't want to be in the book. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that egg already boiled? I would have to boil it. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just keep moving it along. Okay. Anyway, this was a very tough book to write. Those teenagers never really understood me. I never really felt truly accepted. Well, did you explain to them about how you felt? I tried to, but they wouldn't listen. They were too busy doing things, like school. Richie shouldn't even be in school. We should be in a band together. Richie on the axe, me with the sticks on the kit, playing in my garage. Why doesn't Richie want to be in my band? Um, well, Cliff, maybe Richie's busy with school things. Why do you always take Richie's side on everything? I don't even know Richie. Oh, let's just forget it. I didn't even want to be on this stupid show anyway. Uh, Cliff, please calm down. Oh, don't tell me how to live. You're not my mother. Cliff. Don't you tell me anything. Cliff! Cliff Wilt! Hello. If you'd like to see more of At Home with Amy Sedaris, hit subscribe now. Go ahead. Do it. All the cool people are doing it. What? You afraid? Come on. You know you want to. Run! It's the